We're all thinking greener these days, and that includes equipment we use to maintain our gardens and our lawns. So it's no surprise real mowers are coming up a lot more in conversation. Now, they're not anything new, but the technology that makes them run more efficiently is. Now, as good as real mowers are, they're not for everybody. If you have a really big lawn or one that's hilly or requires a lot of maneuvering, well, it may not be the best choice. But real mowers are ideally suited for smaller lawns or where you can get in a long straight run. So let's talk about the reasons real mowers are the greenest way to cut your grass. Well, first, they're the most eco-friendly way because there's no gas or oil. There's no pollution going into the atmosphere. According to the EPA, there are as much fumes coming out of a standard lawnmower over the course of a year as a new car driving over 500,000 miles. And they require a lot of fuel. For all the gas mowers in America, about 800 million gallons a year. And we spill a lot in the process. As we refuel them, we spill about 17 million gallons. Now that's more fuel spilled than all the oil in the Exxon Valdez accident. And by the way, although I'm a big fan of mowers that operate on rechargeable batteries or electric, there's still an environmental impact to consider from the pollution that's generated from the plant that makes the electricity. And real mowers are better for the health of your lawn too. Rotary mowers are designed to cut with a tearing action. And unless the blade is really sharp, it can promote pest and disease, moisture loss, and it's certainly more stressful on the grass. A real mower like this, on the other hand, it cuts with a scissors-like action, and that's a much cleaner cut. Now, in regards to your health, real mowers are the answer for that, too. There's no noxious fumes coming into your face, there's no noise pollution, and there's no vibration from a heavy engine on top of the deck, not to mention the risk of those rocks flying out from underneath the deck. And let's not forget the benefit to your budget. You're not buying the gas, you're not buying the oil, the spark plugs, the filters, the belts. Certainly you're saving money there, and it requires very little money in regards to ongoing maintenance. In fact, there's very little maintenance required at all. Real mower technology has advanced a lot in recent years, and yet there are still limitations that have precluded a lot of people from fully embracing this style of mower, even though they may have wanted to. For example, the blades can dull rather quickly, or they can lack cutting power, and those blades can bog down when you run over even the smallest stick, and they can be difficult to push. One of my pet peeves, the inability to adjust the blade to the proper cutting height, or to get a good clean level cut right along a bed line. A lot of people don't like the mess that all those grass clippings leave along your feet and your socks, and the handles can be flimsy and difficult to maneuver when you turn. Well, Fiskars has overcome all those objections and more with their latest design of their new real mower. So let's take a closer look at some of those features. These blades will last a lot longer because the real assembly never comes in contact with the stationary blade, and without friction, there's a lot less wear. Now, Fiskars has addressed the power issue by the way they designed the real assembly. With these hardened steel blades, you get two times the cutting power that's going to allow you to blast right through those twigs and those weeds. And when you combine that added cutting power with a lack of friction, well, that makes a mower that's a lot easier to push, especially in taller grass. This is a great feature. Unlike traditional reel mowers where they position the blade between the wheels, that's okay, but it doesn't let you cut underneath the wheels. So just imagine trying to get that even cut along your bed edge. It isn't going to happen. Fiskars reposition that blade put it in front of the big wheels and it extends the entire width of the deck so you can get that nice even cut right up to the edge of your bed. I really like that. And speaking of things I like, this handle. Lots of areas where you can do multiple grip positions and it's good and sturdy and you can also adjust the height. Speaking of height, my favorite feature of all, the ability to adjust the blade all the way from one inch up to four inches. Now this is the first real mower to be able to do that and it's very easy to make that adjustment. But more importantly, it's essential for proper turf management to be able to cut your grass at the proper height. And this is the first real mower that allows you to do that. Another thought, you go away on a vacation for a week or so and you're coming back to an extra tall lawn, the ability to make this blade a little bit higher can make all the difference in the world. If you ever thought a real mower wasn't for you, it's time to think again now that the Fiskars Momentum real mower is here because it overcomes a lot of the limitations of other traditional real mowers. And remember, it's good for your budget, it's good for your health, it's good for the health of your lawn, and it's good for the health of the planet.